Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. This is Lesson 2, where I will teach you how to uh, make the actors that we added to the world in the less, last lesson do something. Um, so here uh, we have, we noted in the last lesson, we added three objects to the world, uh, three cars. They were objects. Uh, so these are objects of the class car, which is a subclass of actor, which means it can do everything that an actor can do. Um, here's the code for car. Right now the code is, this is the act method, which just repeats forever, like a forever loop in Scratch or a draw loop in Khan Academy. Um, and it's the command is to turn five. And so if I press run, it's just going to, cars are just going to spin around, which is pretty boring. Okay. We'd like it to do something a little interesting. Um, we'd like it to actually respond to my action, but I really only need one car. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a couple of the cars. I'm going to delete this one. I'll uh, press delete and I'll delete this one. I'll delete that too. Um, notice if I reset it, they're going to come right back. Why? Because I didn't save the world. I'll do it again. I'm going to delete this one and I'll delete this one. And now I'm going to save the world. And if I look at my world now, you're going to see that there's code here that removes the object car two and car three. So uh, they're still in the memory. I could put them back if I wanted to, but I'm not going to right now. Um, I can put this car also right in the middle and save the world. You notice it'll uh, now you see I, I changed the location of the car. It's in a new place. So what I'm going to do is I want to make the car. Uh, I want to make the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the car uh, move and you know, what I'd like to do and then uh, turn when you press uh, left or right key. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to get rid of the turn five. Uh, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in move. So we're going to make the car move. Uh, so the argument here, some move is uh, make the car just go forward and uh, which is exactly like in Scratch if you've done that. And five means it uh, moves forward by uh, five pixels every turn. If I compile that and I run it, um, you'll just see my car is just going to keep going forward. If I reset, my car will go back to here. Why does it go back to here? Because that's where my code told it to be, right? 287, 207, right in the middle of the screen, more or less, maybe not exactly, more or less in the middle of the screen. And so I'd like, though, the car to respond to my commands. So I'm going to teach you a new, um, a new command. Uh, for, not too unfamiliar to you, though, if you've done other languages. It's the if statement. And we're saying, uh, if something happens, then do something else. So I'm going to type if, and then I'm going to do an open parentheses. And so this is a condition, right? It's a condition. If something happens, do something else. Whatever goes in the parentheses is what we call a Boolean. It's either true or false. In this case, the Boolean condition, what I'd like to do is if I press the left arrow, it's going to turn left, right? And no, le not right, left. So the, the command for doing this uh, is we just say greenfoot dot is key and if you see it, you'll see uh, it, it. You can hit control space like here and you'll actually see it. And uh, to tell it what key, I'll just say left. Um, and then we are not going to end this line with a semicolon, unlike everything else we've done, because we need to put the actual condition, what's going to happen. Instead, I'm going to do an open curly bracket. Uh, if you are doing stride, you don't need curly brackets. I'm doing Java again because I think people really want to learn Java. You want to learn a language you can use elsewhere. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Notice there's an error here right now. What happened? Oh, my God. Well, this is underlined because see this open curly bracket? This is where I'm saying what's going to happen if the left key is down. But uh, I have not closed that, right? I have a, I, I, don't, I, I have another curly bracket down here, but that curly bracket for something else. That's for closing the act method. So I have to put a curly bracket to close it. So now uh, what I have to do is in between here. Oh, and I, there's one more typo here. Notice my thing here. Uh, this is another mistake. I make it every single time. 
This is a open parentheses. This is another open parentheses. This is a closed parentheses, but I have not closed this first parentheses, so I have to do that here. Uh, I make that mistake all the time. Uh, you probably will too. So now I have my condition. Green dot dot is key down left, right? I'll, I'll show you other conditions that can happen later on, um, like collisions, right? But for now, uh, the is key down is one we'll use a lot for just making things happen. And I will put in the command turn. Well, we're turning left now. Um, so you noticed before when I was turning right, my car, my was turning five degrees, my car was spinning in a right clockwise direction. We want to turn left, that's counterclockwise. So I'm going to turn a negative amount. I'll say negative 10 degrees. You can play around with this however much you want it to turn, right? And uh, compile it, right? Now if I uh, run this, you notice now I can turn my car left. Just left, I can't turn it right. I haven't put that command in yet, right? But uh, you can probably figure out how to do that. I will, if you'd like, uh, you might want to pause this and see if you can figure out yourself how to make the car turn right. So I'll just wait a second and you can try and do that. Okay, uh, so um, if you uh, pause this uh, and try to do this, uh, hopefully you thought you would want another if statement. Uh, now we want to turn right, so I'll say green foot dot is key down, and I, I don't want to type it. I'll just hit control space and double space, uh, and then I'll in quotes I'll type right, and this time I'm going to remember to close the other parentheses. Notice how see when I press the close parentheses, it tells me that like height highlights to tell me what parentheses I'm closing there. That's kind of nice of uh, green foot to do that for me. Then I'm going to put the open uh, curly bracket. I will hit enter. Notice I haven't closed that curly bracket. I always close my curly brackets before I um, put in the condition because that way um, I know what's what's going on there. I, it, it it keeps things from getting messed up by you know not knowing what curly brackets uh, are open and closed. Also, the indents help a lot. Notice uh, there's a curly bracket at the beginning or the end. This these curly brackets mark out that this is the class and there's a curly bracket at the beginning of the end of the act method and then there's a curly bracket at the beginning of the end of the if statements and notice that they're all indented if i put in another curly bracket i'd indent it even more so now i'm turning right so that's clockwise direction so that's going to be a positive turn a positive direction to turn and uh, i will compile it and now i will run it and now my uh, car can turn in both directions. A little bit better, right? Uh, now we're going to have to put in some uh, opponents, some other, some objectives, some things to try and get. Uh, I will do that in the next lesson and uh, see you then.